government will have more time to convince individual bondholders to sign on to domestic debt exchange program after extending the deadline on Monday. This comes after a weekend dominated by high-profile disagreements from key parliamentary personalities on how the rollout of the policy has been handled. Majority Leader Seiche Mensabonsu said, quote, We need further dialogue on the inclusion of individual bondholders. Majority Chief Whip Frank Anodompre was even more scathing as an assessment claiming it is, quote, unfair and untenable to include individual bondholders, unquote. Now, they all have what they want, more time for consultation, and for government, more time to draw many of those unwilling to sign on to the program in line, something the pensioner bondholders welcome. Dr. Edu Entry is their convener. You can't do this successfully without going through negotiation. If you owe somebody and you come, you go to that person and claim to him why you cannot pay, and you, get, you give him some proposal for him to consider and say, well, I want to help you, so I accept it. So if this is coming out, then I believe government has now seen that you must do more uh, negotiation, consultation with bondholders to achieve uh, a successful program. So I'll be happy if that is done. The pensioners may be happy that the deadline has been extended, but they insist more time would not necessarily translate into an acceptance of a program that they say will make them worse off. Whether or not the time for the uh, closure of the invitation, invitation is ended or is extended, we have said we are not uh, tendering in our bonds. And so, regardless of the fact that it will be ending or it will be extended that later on, it's not going to affect us. So they should rest assured. Judith Tawachitando, TV3 News.